This is a story of Peter Scully. Warning, view discretion is advised. Peter Scully was born on January 13, 1963 in Melbourne, Australia. He would be convicted of human trafficking, rape, unaliving, and he had 75 victims. Peter Scully lived in the suburbs of Nari Warren in Melbourne with his wife and two children prior to fleeing to Manila in the Philippines in 2011 or he could be charged with his involvement in property scheme that cost investors over a $2.6 million. According to his own statement, he was sexually abused by a priest in Victoria when he grew up. Prior to leaving Melbourne, he operated an unlicensed online escort service, which offered his Filipino girlfriend as a sex worker. An investigation of the Australian Securities and Investment Commission from 2009 found Scully was involved in 117 fraud and deception offenses relating to real estate scams. From the islands of Mindanao, Scully is alleged to have built up a lucrative international child sex abuse ring that offered pay-per-view video streams of children being sexually abused and tortured on the dark web. Among the children who had their ordeals recorded sold over the internet was a five-year-old who was raped, tortured by Scully, and two female accomplices. Victims were procured by Scully with the promises to impoverished parents of work, education, and were solicited by his two Filipino girlfriends. Carme Alvarez and Lizelle Castana, and other two female acquaintances such as Maria Chi Ichaya. Both Alvarez and Margallo also abused children in Scully's videos. In 2016, prosecutors alleged that Scully and a girlfriend coaxed two teenagers girls to come to Scully's house with a promise of food. Scully was alleged to have given the girls alcohol and forced them to perform sex acts between them a scene that the photographer filmed. Prosecutor alleged that when the girls tried to escape, Scully forced them to dig graves in the basement of the house and threatened that he would bury them in there. After five days, the girls were released by the girlfriend, Carme, who began feeling remorse after coming home to see the two in pet collars and reported what had happened. Scully operated a secret dark web child pornography website known as No Limits Fun, NLF. The most notorious video Scully produced was Daisy's Destruction, which he sold on his sites for his clients up to $10,000. Made in 2012, the multi-part video is extreme. That is for the some time regarded as an urban legend. It features a torture and rape of three girls by Scully and two Filipino women. Urged on by Scully, some of the most severe physical abuse was carried out on the child by one of his girlfriends, then the 19-year-old Lizelle was formerly trafficked as a child. All right, guys, follow me for part two of the Peter Scully story.